What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Adventures with Hoop and Zach. I am Hooper. And I'm Zach. And today, we're getting crafty with Big River Brewery. This episode of Getting Crafty is brought to you by Big River Brewery, the official brewery of the Rio Grande Valley. Let the beer flow. So Zach, why don't you tell us what we are dealing with here today? Like he said before, Big River Brewery, guys. They were established in 2016. They are a certified independent craft brewer. And they're a microbrewery out of Far, Texas. And got four of their standard beers that they sell at our local stores here at HEB. So anyone's wanting to join with us, you know, pause the video, go to the store, buy the beer. It'll be in the description down below. So we've got their, some four of their standard beers. We've got a blonde, we've got an IPA, we've got their amber, and we got a light beer. Uh, and awesome. then we have three specialty beers, which is a uh, collaboration New England IPA. We've got the sour dill pickle beer. I'm super excited for that which, one. Oh yeah, I'm pretty excited for it too. And then we have this big crowler right here in the middle. Sorry, it doesn't have a label. It's just how they happen to can it. It's okay. Orange Habanero Saison. I'm like excited for this beer because of how, like it's such a big can, but when it, when Habanero, Harbin, Habanero comes out. Habanero? That's because I lived down here all my life. I know. I'm not, I'm not, uh, that scares me. We're going to start uh, getting into the beer. We'll start with their standard beers first, and then we'll get right into the specialty ones after that, and uh, be right back. <laughs> So, Zach, we just poured our first beer from Big River Brewery. So, the first beer that we poured was Del Valle Light Lager. I would like to say it's probably comparable to like a Miller along those lines. Uh, I'm expecting some of the same flavor. Simple can, it's nice. Hey, it hints at the valley, it's RGV. I love the can. I love the way it looks. It looks very. I'm going to be at the beach, I'm in the valley. It looks very refreshing. The beer itself looks like a light beer. Yeah, it looks it's, like a standard, like like a standard light lager. Yeah, right on the road. And uh, let's see what this smells like. And it's what it smells like, but a little oh, yeah. bit better. Oh yeah, that smells that smells like a nice, refreshing light beer. Cheers. Cheers. That is right there on the road. That's 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 a that's a good light beer. Are you getting almond? Oh man, I don't know if it's because you said something. <laughs> or like, you know, cause uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm I, like I drink it. It's good. It again. It's it's a light lager. So I would I would compare it to any other light lager. Except obviously it's got more flavor. It's not as watered down. When you chew on it, there's like a nutty flavor that's there. I don't know Man, why. I'm slightly picking that up, and I think that's because you put it into my mind. But it's it's very possible. I mean that's that's very possible. It's a it's a it's a good standard beer. Yeah, no, I mean this is it's really good. I mean I could see even going to the tap room that they have there in in far, and um, sitting down. Obviously, right now is kind of a bad time to do that, but you know in regular circumstances, uh, you know going to the tap room, sitting down, taking back a few of these pretty easily. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, hang well, out with friends. It's a really good it's a really good beer just for drinking. No, it's it's a great beer. Yeah, I'm enjoying this and. Uh, well, we'll come back to you when we get the next one up. We just poured this beautiful looking IPA. So, this is El Nueve Cinco Seis. And for those who can't do Spanish, L 956 This is a IPA. Uh, I think it's just a standard IPA. It's 7.1% ABV. Alright, first of all, presentation of the can and color of the beer. I like the colors. I mean, again, they're following the the Valley brand here. Nine five six. It's screaming out where we're from. Yeah, the color of the beer that actually looks really good. Yeah, I mean, it's surprisingly got it's a, it's a little bit darker than I was expecting for an IPA. Yeah. In all honesty, most regular standard IPAs look like this. It's just been such a long time since we've <laughs> had a since regular... we've had a regular IPA. Well, um, since you've had, because I don't well, like since I have because he doesn't drink them, right? <laughs> okay. Again, if you haven't watched our show, 
he does not like IPA. That reaction is not because he doesn't like the beer. It's because he does not like IPA. And this smells and like a straight old school IPA. Getting a little bit of pineapple, a little bit of fruit. But I'm getting a lot of floral. Which means it's going to be a lot more bitter. Cheers. Woo! <laughs> that is 100% in IPA. Great job. They did a great job on the floral notes. It's got a, it's got a really good floral note to it. It's really tasty. The hoppiness is definitely there, definitely there on the hoppiness, which is what he's about to comment on. But no, y'all did a great job on this one. Guys, again, I recommend go get it, try it out, or go to their tap room. Uh, they're open from Wednesdays to Saturday. <coughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, I mean, the hops are very present. I am picking up those, like, floral taste notes and, and maybe a the... A little bit of fruit, but the, it's, the, it's the, very the, minimal. The fruity is kind of there. Dang, I don't like IPAs. <laughs> like, that, you could just be getting into IPAs and kind of enjoying them. This is probably not a bad beer to start with. We're going to get back to you when we get the next beer. So, the next one we got here is Cha Cha Blonde. Um, it's 5.2 ABV. And uh, I've actually had this one before. I had it at the Night at the Bruceum last year. Uh, it's going to be a little bit, should be a little bit heavier, a little more full body than their uh, Del Valle. I like the can. It's simple. Uh, the names, again, representing the valley. The can, I like it. It's, yeah, like you said, it's simple. I think I might have liked a little bit more something in there, but it's good. It's man. a good, simplistic can. Yeah. The color looks like a honey, like a golden. Dude, it, yeah, it's a pretty golden honey. Oh, wow. wow. It smells like honey. I don't remember this. Oh, that smells so good. Not just any honey. It, that smells like Cracker Barrel. Okay, now Cracker Barrel's all over the United States. That honey is what this smells like. Did y'all put honey in this beer? There's a slight honey in the back, but it's not it's not super present in the taste. The honey, it's you can super taste mild. it, but it's, it's mild and on the back notes. Yeah. I mean, again, I have no idea whether they put honey in here or not. The smell is there, and the taste is a little bit there in the honey. but it, It's light. It's refreshing. It's an easy drinker. It's oh. a little hoppy, but it's not, not, it's not like IPA hoppy. No, not at all. I am very much enjoying this. It's so light. It's it's, a it's honestly teaser, like though. what they say here, um, golden and refreshing. They hit refreshing right on the nose. Like yeah. I can drink this in the sun all day long and have a very great time. The smell and the taste is remarkable. Man, it's an easy drink. It's really good. Yeah, I mean, I already took half a can down. It's a definite buy. It's it's a it's a really good beer. I'm yeah. pretty happy with it so far. That is great. We're gonna get back to you with the next beer. I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> This next beer, it looks amazing. Zach, what is it? So this next one is Cervecita. Uh, it's 5.4% alcohol, ABV. It's an amber lager. This is a awesome label. I really like the Mexican cowboy, guns blazing. Is there Texas on there? I thought it was Doesn't care. Yeah, the, the state of Texas is all over the can, along with okay, skulls but except, and hops. Except where that arrow's pointed? Well, it's pointing to South Texas, where we're at, the <laughs> RGV, Rio Grande Valley. They're representing. Laredo. They're representing. <laughs> it's like Laredo. <laughs> it's definitely a really good amber, really good amber color. I mean, that's a beautiful light brown, golden, golden color. I'm getting mushroom? What? Oh, sh dude, shut <laughs> up. Dude, as soon as you said that, like... Oh my god, like mushroom, like, mushrooms. Like, like fresh mushroom in the dirt, in some caramel. <sighs> no, the mushroom is just taking over my brain. Cheers. So, cheers. That mushroom, I would say that this the, mushroom smell is kind of present in the taste. It's it's a little there in the taste also. I feel like the taste could be a little bit better. There's this like weird There's a sweetness. sweetness to it. How would you, would you buy this beer? Because I definitely would, 100%. It's a good beer. Because you know what you know what I like about this beer? Is it's weird. It has this funky taste that I can't lay my hands on it. I mean, oh wow, I just got like a big like alcohol finish. Like like a rubbing alcohol finish. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I, obviously I think there could be some some improvements on the amber. But, I mean, I think for the most part it's pretty good. I yeah, mean, it, I would buy it. It's a good beer. Wood and gonna because... It's at my local store. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's an easy drinker for sure. No, it is. I mean, like it, it goes back really smooth. All right. Well, we're going to grab another one. I feel like this this beer adventure is just never going to end. It's yeah. Well, we, got, we got seven to go through this time instead of just the regular four. So. Big River did a good job. Yeah. Um, 
So next up, we're going to be getting into the specialty beers, which are seasonal or small batch beers that they've made. The only way you can usually get your hands on those is either you got to pre-order, you got to get it from their tap room. Alrighty, we'll be right back with those. <laughs> So, for our first specialty beer, we have a collaboration beer. You want to tell us a little bit about it? Like you said, it's a collaboration. This was also made by uh, Other Half Brewery. It is called All Together Beer. This was made for a worldwide collaboration brewed to support hospi hospitality professional. It's awesome, man. It's a New England IPA running around 6.5% alcohol. That's a, that's a hefty New England IPA. It's a simple can. I it's, mean, a, it's Honestly, I like it. I like it. I like the simple. Simpli simplic simplicity uh, simplicity of this big word yeah so it's very hazy a little pineapple-y definitely some yeah. floral hoppy notes no, so you, you <laughs> definitely pick up the hop you do on the back smells of that pick up the pineapple-y uh, tropical. fruity tropical all right well, cheers. cheers to what it tastes like so i let it sit in my mouth a little bit i got a little more pineapple i got a little more of the fruity flavors from it obviously as it went down i'm picking up with some of the hoppiness Honestly, this was so hard for me to pick up any of that. IPA is one of those that you really have to develop a taste for. Much easier for people to get into dark beers than it is to get into this kind of beer. Um, again, just because of the bitterness. If you enjoy IPAs, you're going to enjoy this. Besides that, we'll get right into the next beer. I'll be back with y'all in just a second. Alright, everybody. Welcome back. We have our next beer. So, why don't you tell us what it is? Yeah, I'm really excited for this one. This is the Big Dill Kettle Sour. It is 5.6 ABV. It's a sour beer made with dill pickle. I love pickles. I love dill pickles. Going to the movie theater and having a pickle when you're there. Or maybe that's just a Texas thing. But Or being at the skate rink. Yes. Back when we were kids, they used to sell for 50 cents a pop. They'd give you a plastic little cool little mug. You'd take a pickle shot. And you'd drink a pickle shot. Make you feel like an adult. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it really did. Presentation of the can. Simple, but it says what it is. To the point, and I like that. Yeah. Color, there's a little bit of a pickliness to it, but overall, though, it's it's pretty... It yes and no. It looks like a regular, like a lager almost. I mean... Yeah. Oh, it smells like pickle. Whoa. <laughs> so, that's weird because it has, like, it definitely has that pickle vibe to it, right? That's exactly what I was going to say. Yeah, pickle vibe. It definitely got a pickliness to it. Yeah, but there's some... There's a there's a beer there, there's that beer present that's like hello I'm here too. It reminds me of movie theater pickles. Cheers, cheers. Oh, that is so good. Wow, that is so good. Ooh. But um, it's like pickle. Man, my mouth is watering. This is really good. I like so, you definitely get that pickly vibe, mm. that pickle juice. This is a pickle beer. This is a super smart move for a sour. I mean, yeah, going join pickle. pickle. I mean, you couldn't have planned it better. You do pick up that a little like, bit of beer, but that weedy beer taste. This makes me want to have a pickle next to me right now and eat a pickle while I'm drinking this. Like, I'm really happy with this right now. This is really good. This is an amazing beer, hands it's down. Really good. It's definitely refreshing. Oh yeah, it is. Like you can definitely drink this on a sunny day. I would buy this beer pretty often if it was available. This is one of those beers that you have to pre-order. Make sure you get it on Facebook so that way you can see when they're putting things out like this. This is, I mean, and again, this is excellent. This, this is amazing. You're saying this is the one of the ones that they run out the most. Oh, yeah. I mean, I literally saw the post on Facebook. I called in. I made the reservation for the pre-order. I got there to pick it up, and that's when she told me all the beer had sold during the pre-order. They had no beer to sell in the tap room because so many people bought wow. the pre-orders. That shows how well this one sells. You hold tight because we're about we're about to have another beer come up. You don't want to miss it. All right, welcome back, everybody. So what we got today is the orange habanero saison. There is not an AVB on that. <laughs> it's a crowler can, which means it's obviously a bigger than normal can. There's no decorative labeling. This is one of their specialty beers. This is designed for the tap room. I don't know if this is the first time they've made this. I didn't ask them that when I was getting all this beer from them. But it looks kind of like carrot juice. <laughs> like an orange soda maybe a little bit. Alright, smell. Oh, it's a little zesty. There's a little bit of a, like, a, like, a, like a janitorial cleaner smell to it though. 
I don't know why, but oh, I yeah, I definitely see what you're. I don't know where I'm picking that up from, but I know you know exactly where that that's coming from. Remember that spray that I would have in here to clean the table? It was an orange all-purpose cleaner. Yes, oh. I think some of that smell though that we're getting is coming from the habanero. It's coming from the pepper. <laughs> It's got a little Ooh, bit of... wow. Wow. <laughs> okay. It's got, it's got a little bite. It's okay. Like... <laughs> Simmer down, habanero. Uh, Are you okay? <laughs> it burns, dude. We probably shouldn't have taken the bigger gulp as we did. I think you took a big gulp, too. Dude. Uh, that was a mistake. It's like, oh, zesty, orange, woo, and party. Then like, <laughs> and then all of a sudden... It's a kick to the teeth because your throat is burning. <laughs> that habanero is no joke oh, in there. Man. But I'm burping orange peel. Is the, I mean, it tastes good. <laughs> but it's spicy. It kind of tastes like cleaner. The smell is messing with things. Whoa. Second time, oh, my mouth is drooling now. You know what? They should have named it the orange habanero of death. The burn sensation has not gone away from my tongue. I can see a market for this down here in yeah. the valley where... Everybody like spicy, like spicy food. I can see that sound like hotcakes. No, I, I definitely see this as a novelty item. I don't think this is either one of our thing. That's probably the best way to put that, it. That's what it is. I give them credit for the originality of the beer. I mean, yeah, I've oh, never had anything like this before. Absolutely, that's a definitely that is something so unique. You have to try it at least once. Yeah. Anyways, give us a second. Let us collect our thoughts, and we'll come back and kind of review the brewery overall. We brought Carla um, in to provide a little bit of extra feedback on what she thought of the beer. So go ahead. What was your opinion on the beer? So I, I mean, it, it smells very orangey. You can't smell the spice on it, but um, I honestly thought it tasted like a really spiced cider like an overly spiced cider hey guys. thank you yeah no problem yeah all right everybody so you heard another opinion besides us so like like we said taste is subjective and everybody tastes is different and a lot of it has to do that we're here giving feedback to each other overall guys big river brewery y'all did a great job hey if you're here in south texas in the rio grande valley Y'all need to get to HEB. Y'all need to go straight to the tap room over at Big River Brewery in Far Texas off an of Atlanta Loop. I would buy every beer. I'm going to buy a couple beers now that I know that they're selling it at, a, at my local grocery store. Hopefully, we'll be able to get a sneak peek into the tap room and uh, yeah. take you guys there live. You know what to do. Hit the like, subscribe, the little bell, and remember, make, make every, every day an adventure. adventure.